There's no better way to enjoy the holidays than to take advantage of some of the harvest of the season. So today, I've invited Paige to work with pumpkins for me. And you hollowed this out for us, didn't you? I did. I like to work with Oasis because it's a great way to cheat. So all you really have to do is just score your Oasis because you want to make sure that it is uh, going to fit right into the top of the pumpkin. You want to pick a couple of pretty sure. ones that you like over there? Now I'm going to attach these gourds onto the wire. You can either make a little slit with a box knife or you can take an awl, which is one of our favorite pieces of equipment here at the workshop. It's got a real pointy end and depending on how far you push it down, you can make a small hole or a big hole. And I just want to make a fairly tiny one right at the base of the gourd so that I can take that wire and drive it right in. And then I'm going to trim it up just a little bit because I'm only going to use about, thank you so much, see how you were right there? And drive it through the oasis and tuck it right down and in. And do, do you mind picking a few of sure. them and getting them ready with the awl and the wire? Just like so. Oh, one more for me. You want to trim that up just a little bit? Isn't that beautiful? It is. I love the bubbly part. Me too. One thing you might want to keep in mind as you're doing this is to kind of, you could work around the edges first and then fill it in in the middle so that it gets higher. But you want to make sure if you're creating centerpieces that they don't go too high because you want your guests to be able to see each other. So I'm thinking I'm, because of that, I'm going to trim that down just a little bit. Thank you so much. If you take this moss a little bit, and this is just regular, inexpensive, easy to care for sheet moss that I found, I'm just going to fill it in and around kind of where you see any kind of openings so it looks like it's really bountiful. But I'm not through yet because I want to make a little message on my pumpkin and um, just to embrace the season or echo the season a little bit more one word you could spell out is fall or thanksgiving or just thanks and i'm going to take fall and will you put on a pair of those gloves right there sure. i'm going to just put down a little cloth so i can protect my table a little bit so I've got a little bit of stain right here, and I'm just gonna dab it with a rag and not get that much on. You'd be surprised, it doesn't take much. And if you wanna start down there, and you just take it and rub it right onto the wooden letters. Now, does the stain come in different colors? It does. You can get it in greens, you can get it in reds. This is just your basic wood stain. I got the darkest one I could because I love the dark, rich browns. Me too. And really, the great thing about rubbing this on with a rag is that it dries really quickly because you're just rubbing it right in to the grain, so you're ready to work with it pretty much right away. And um, the best way to attach these letters to the pumpkin is I've got a little bit of floral gum adhesive. And you just take that and you roll it into a little ball, pop it on the back of the letter. And I like to do it in a couple of places, right at the top, just along the top of the letter in one, two places. Pop it on the best side of the pumpkin and just stick it right there in front. You are a good letter prepper lady. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at that. Oh, I like it. I like the bright orange. I like the unusual shaped gourds that I can see growing out of the top. And I love the word that says fall and lets us know it is the season. Thank you. Thank you.